I think we should try to eat this. What do you think? Uh, boys, bread? You, let's break bread together. Carl? Well, boys, what are you, what are you doing? Mushroom what? board insulation, and they say you can uh, eat this stuff, but... I just had lunch, too. Help yeah, yourself. I just it's ate. not I'm very here. tasty. I'm gonna pass. It's pretty, it's, but it's supposed to be good insulation. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's fire, it's fire, fire well, resistant, so we don't need well, wait fire a second. retardants. Fire resistant without flame retardants. Alex Wilson. What do you, what do you say How to that, Alex? How does you feel? Well, flame retardants, as you know, are you know, one of my big issues. I yeah. can't stand them. And, and they're in almost all foam plastic insulation. So if there's a product that's viable, that's a natural product and doesn't require flame retardants, I'm all over it. Cool. I would love to try this on our house. So if I hadn't already installed the cork insulation, right. this would be in there. Right. Maybe not in a sandwich, um, but on a house for but sure. Not but, in a sandwich. But they're, they're, working on, they're working on sips. That's a sandwich. Yeah. They're working on foam in place. So it's... it's uh, now, this one is really cool. We were just talking about this. But this one, they put the corn husk mushroom spore mixture in the wall cavity. It grows for about they a week. Inoculated. They inoculate the mycelium, it. Mycelium, which are basically the roots of the right. uh, mushroom, yeah. fill it up and create this foam. And then they somehow dry it out and it cures and hardens and provides some well, rigidity. The, 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 the it's good, pretty the, cool. The good thing is that it's actually already used in packaging. It's licensed right. out. They're shipping stuff in it. So we know this stuff actually works. You know, it's getting it getting it evolved for building construction is going to be a. It's going to be a this is going to be a tough sell for some people. I mean, I think it's pretty cool for yeah. a lot of reasons, yeah. but there's probably going to be some people who just, based on the presence of the mushroom, are going to yeah. just they're going to it's going to be a big hurdle for some people to get yeah, over. I, it. I think the challenge with a lot of these new products is the the, the commercial stuff is so inexpensive. Yeah. You know, I'm really yeah. looking forward to seeing them get this stuff competitive with competing products. Then it should be pretty easy. I'm looking forward to seeing this in a test hut. One of the challenges is going to be specifications. You know how, you know, when you get into real building applications, can you get an, an eighth inch tolerance on it? Yeah. Hopefully you can. If they figure out a mold system to grow it to dimensional tolerances, that'll be great. Versus growing outside of the cavity. Yeah. And, you know, um, making for uneven wall board you know, insulation. For packaging, it's a little different. You know, if you're off by a quarter inch, probably yeah. no big deal. But if you're trying to, you know, put in two inches of yeah, you insulin can, can, can vary a quarter of an inch. Yeah, yeah you can't vary yeah. a quarter inch. Well, well, you know, it's it's a good product. We'll have to see where it goes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you gonna write about it? I am, and you know, I have in the past as well. And it, it's companies like this that are really pushing the envelope and yeah. showing what okay. can be done. We know you're gonna write about it, but will you taste it? Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Thanks, Alex. <laughs>